stable and predictable regulatory regime. And we have a stress point on the power purchase agreements down south, which hopefully everybody is working to try and resolve. But it has damaged India's reputation very, very severely. In fact, if any of you has influence in that state, please exert that influence. We are also working to find a resolution. But I'm toying with an idea. And if any of you, maybe CII can help me. Can we create a framework where the center and states sign a legally binding document committing everybody to stick to contracts and contractual obligations, irrespective of political changes or governments changing? I think it's time as a nation we decided on doing this. And anybody who reneges on any contract should commit that the Reserve Bank can cut his devolution of funds and pay for that contract, but not allow any such damage to the whole nation's reputation. And if there's any mis misfeasance or any wrongdoing, take action against the person who did the wrong. But don't kill the India story. And if we can have everybody working together and each one of you, and each one of these associations should exert influence on the states. Because there are many states who are today in a framework that if we dis propose something, they have to oppose it, unfortunately. In that case, we need your support because you all are principal stakeholders in different states to pressurize the states also to come within this framework. Otherwise, we'll never be able to achieve the kind of ambitious targets and goals that we all have. So it's an idea that I'm toying with. Maybe if we all work together, I mean, piracy, somebody spoke about. Or you want some improvements on inverted structures on GST. All of these things will require a pan-India consensus. The GST Council works on consensus usually. Actually, always until the last time, for more for political reasons that there was an opposition on certain issues. But we are working for an aspirational India, for India's economic development, for a caring India, as the Honorable Finance Minister said in our budget presentation on the 1st of February. Our vision of new India by 2022, that every Indian should have his own home, a home with 24 hours electricity, clean drinking water, digital connectivity, a road leading up to his village and home, good schools, good colleges, good health care in the vicinity, universal health care for every individual, quality education supplemented with skills and vocational training, effort to bring down logistics costs to 6 or 8% of the GDP or of our cost of manufacturing or production, our effort to brand India. I have this India brand equity fund. It has about 200 crores in it. I want to appeal to all of you, can these 100 organizations, depending on their size and scale, add to that con money? And I give that money out fully to an empowered group led by the private sector, totally led by the private sector. And you all help me create this brand all over the country and all over the world that you are, at least three presentations spoke about that, including tourism, healthcare, and others also. I'm happy to do that if some of you can take an initiative. If each of the large 50 companies in the country make a nominal pooling of resources into that. I have 200 crores which can be the seed. We can have companies make a five-year commitment that every year will give so much. Or associations pull together from their own members and put into this fund or a commitment of a five-year fund. And then I'll allow the private sector to fully drive that. And we'll be, I'll arrange that we make a presentation to the prime minister, led by the private sector, on how we will brand India going forward. Let's work with innovative models. The honorable prime minister has already ordered that all our government spending on research and development, PSU spending, CSIR spending, uh, biotechnology ministry spending, science and technology, so much spending all across. Can we pull it with industry spending, engage with our universities and academia, 
make it truly a government, university, and industry partnership. And I think we'll get many X for every rupee that we spend today in a dis disjointed, disparated fashion. All of these are possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. I urge you to support these efforts, some of which have already started. I'm willing to support the efforts that each one of your associations takes up. My doors are open. I think, if at all, there could be a little delay in giving an appointment to anybody, more for lack of time. I'm always running from one engagement to the other. But uh, I don't think anybody would have ever got a no for an answer. Certainly, CII almost has a ROFR on me. <laughs> and there have been occasions, Sandhiji, where you've given me a 24-hour notice and I've come. But I want to be engaged with you. I want to work with you in partnership. Today, the 20th of February is a landmark day which none of us will ever forget. 2022020. He says it comes after 130 years. Can we make this the beginning of a new partnership between Indian private sector and Indian government to work together? Today also is the World Day of Social Justice by the United Nations. And the theme is closing the inequalities gap to achieve social justice. After all, when we achieve a $5 trillion economy, which would mean a per capita income of about three and a half, four thousand dollars $4,000, on a PPV basis, which would mean eight or $9,000, it's the cusp after which economies really bloom and blossom. Because there's consumer spending, there's surplus incomes, disposable money to be invested. It'll be the cusp from where India can take off. Can we all commit ourselves to be stakeholders, to be partners in this vision, to work in the spirit of collaboration. And as Linda Lambert had said, one good conversation can shift the direction of change forever. Can today's conversation be the harbinger of change, harbinger of change for India's future, for the destiny of 1.3 billion Indians? Can we all pledge ourselves to working in this spirit of, I may use the word Swadeshi, some of you may not like it, but I'm proud of that word because Mahatma Gandhi gave us that word. His, the fulcrum of, this, of the independence movement started with his call to Swadeshi. Can we all imbibe that spirit of Swadeshi and free India one, once again, this time, from the shackles of social injustice, poverty, inequity, and make India truly a caring society, a happy society, a society or a country of 1.3 billion happy and satisfied Indians. Thank you very much. If you like this video, click the like button. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel.